Because I just unmuted everything. <laughs> mm. Wow. That's how professional I am. I had almost everything prepared, but I just didn't unmute me. Uh, I just didn't. So, so they just they, they they could they could hear us but not you. No, they couldn't hear anything. Everything oh. was done. Everything was muted. Because yeah, so they completely missed your checkoff joke. Yeah, they did. <laughs> but people listening on the podcast, they'll on the iTunes and stuff, they'll hear it. They'll hear it. But um, my bad. You know, it's it's not a source cast unless Trex, you know, does stupid stuff, right? It's me. So. Mm-hmm. So, you, of course, all know me, Trex. Beside me, introductions again. We got Super Patriot. Hello. And all the way down there is... Can I, should I even do the checkoff joke again? Because I feel no, it's, it's just... It's, 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 the moment's gone, man. The moment's gone. Right. We got Balkan back on the show with us. Hey, Balkan. Yeah, nuclear wrestles. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> it's like... Yeah, yeah, nuclear vessels. Right, what's wrong with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. I don't <laughs> want the feeling. It was his joke, man. It was funny, and maybe it will work. And yeah, you both laughing, so it was okay. <laughs> and thank you, Cypher. I definitely saw your message on Skype. And I saw Balkans as well. And my bad. My bad. So. Uh, we have a great show for you. We're going to go over some, uh, go over the lineup that DCO will have over at SOE Live next week. Oh my God, six days away, six days yeah. until SOE Live. Three, wait, hold on, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, four days until I leave to go to Vegas. It's going to be so fun. What day are you heading out there? I am leaving. At 6 a.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. Oh, you're going to be out there Tuesday. Okay, I'll be there Wednesday. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be there I Wednesday. Actually, I actually just now got I just got my itinerary done for it yesterday. You, t- me I too, my, man. Like, well, here's the thing. All right, I am one of those people who like where for trips like this. I mean, it's like you know, I want I want to know you know in it well in advance. You know that I've got my hotel room and I got my flight all taken care of. Oh, yeah. but, with the, but we all know with, you know, airline, you know, flights and all that, the ticket costs are freaking ginormous. They're ridiculous and everything. And, you know, a few months, you know, out, you know, you, you spend up around $700 for a ticket. So I was like, you know, I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out. And I'm going to see because, you know, I'm trying to get some of those cheaper, you know, tickets and everything. <laughs> you know, people that are trying to, airline trying to fill the seat and all that. Oh, yeah, so, of course. you know, I went and I... Went to do it yet uh, the other day and got into where I could actually put in a bid for my own seat, and I got I made a wave. I, I got a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, excellent, excellent. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We have like one forum thing that I found I want to talk about. Uh, it's it's not really something game breaking. It was just something that popped on the forum, so I really want to talk about. And then we're going to discuss some stuff that has been uh, discussed about the game. Uh, and some little discussion stuff. And so let's first go straight into what we normally do, and that would be Friday Night Legends. I have really got to move this queue up a little higher so I don't have to click it, scroll down. Anyways, Friday Night Legends. We had... All right, so first off, the top of, the top it off, I don't know if you guys noticed. I know myself and some other people noticed. Mess was wearing a shirt today. Which we all know he wears a shirt every day, but this shirt was a little special. And the reason that it was special was because it was the new, or at least new to us, the new DC Universe Online developer t-shirt. The dev t-shirt. And I knew it was... Does does, does that mean you and me are getting one? Because I keep getting asked all the time if I'm a dev. You you know... (laughs) Buddy. I mean... I, I don't I, I don't see why not. <laughs> I, I do not see why not. Is we, we get that we get those questions. <laughs> if I if I'm getting tells if I'm getting tells like earlier today they shut down um the server the US server and all that. If I'm getting tells, you know, people complaining to me, why are you guys shutting down the server? I mean I might as well have a shirt. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh 
But yeah, it had Dev right here on the sleeve, and on the other side, the SOE logo, SOE logo and everything. And on the front, it has the hero and the villain symbols for meta, tech, and magic. Or, well, not in that order, but it had those symbols on it. And on the back, it had DC Universe Online and some scribble I couldn't see because of the back camera. But yeah, that shirt, I saw it, I'm like, ooh, they got a new shirt. That's a nice looking shirt. And a lot of us uh, that I was talking to were like, so uh, where can we get that shirt? We, uh, we really want to get that shirt. Because <laughs> last year it just had uh, this maroon looking color shirt and, develop, and Dev was on the back. It's like, oh, that's cool. But now DC has this cool shirt and it's like, does every other game have a little personalized t-shirt like that? Because that would be really cool. Because I would really like one, but I'm not a developer. But anyways, <laughs> uh, they had... Buzzword, Eric Duncan, the PR superhero, <laughs> uh, he joined the show. And, Vulcan, what did they show off today? What what did Eric show off? You mean the Special Legend character? Well, what Special Legend some character? Some you mean this Special Legend? Yeah, they showed today. Like, specialize modern... in, like... Like, he's cool and everything? Let's like, he's he one of a kind? Or special, like, he's the best hero, political correct he's terms? the strongest hero. He can beat everyone. He's the Chuck Norris of this universe. A new legend DCUO character. Modern Batman. I thought the Chuck Norris of DC was Hal Jordan. No. Well, sure as hell ain't Batman. No, no, I, <laughs> yeah, it's he Batman. Is, everyone. He can. But just like Balkan said, they uh, they showed off <laughs> modern Batman. Now, if you're questioning yourself, what is modern Batman? That's a really good effing question. <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of a Batman in kind of not in their image, but how they want to tweak the costume a little bit. Really, it's the same costume we normally see. The bat logo is a little bit bigger, and it's basically an all black suit. It's stealth Batman, if that's a thing. But according to the toy department in Toys R Us, when Batman The Dark Knight came out, yes, stealth Batman is a thing. Thank you. Thank you, marketing. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah this modern Batman has this cool, really just uh, big black... I mean, it's, all, it's an all-black suit. It's exactly what we expect from a Batman, the Dark Knight. It's a black, it's a black Batman. How about that? It's a black Batman. <laughs> I'm sure if I'm, I'm supposed to take that, actually, i uh, say it. <laughs> but, uh, this is the newest Batman, and, uh, they, and it, it looked really slick. It looked really slick. The lo longer ears, too, so this Batman, I believe, will be coming out... Have they said when this is coming out? Do you remember? Did they say next update, or the... Or was I misunderstanding? I maybe? think I heard Thursday. Yeah. I think I heard Thursday, but don't quote me on that. But I hear this uh, definitely. So the modern Batman will be available for all members. If you have Legendary, you will get them free. Okay, yeah, Decon says, and a couple of people, yeah, it's going to be next Thursday. It's for modern Batman. So... And we already had the 50th anniversary, the original classic Bat. Excuse me, classic Batman. He's out now, isn't he? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes, he is. So there we go. We have those two, and apparently Yens is going to be showing off another Batman at SW Live. What was the love for Superman last year? Okay, hold on here. Just, just calm down. Calm down. I mean, Wonder Woman seventy fifth is this year too. We don't. I don't see the women going over there. Just going. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. I, I, not really. Don't do that, women. Please. I mean, maybe Wonder Woman may get something next year. I think. I think. Well, I think if the guest we have on later uh, is able to get on here, then uh, I think she'll have something to say about it. How about we not mention it to her? I'll, I'll be so. Uh, no, happy. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up. <sighs> Darn it. I'm going to bring it up. Fine. Fine. So, 
Uh, games are already dominated by the Batman effect as it is. I mean, the movement modes it's, are even screwed. It's up. Batman Universe Online. You did not know that. The, the, the movement modes are even screwed up because you know because of the Batman effect. <laughs> Balkan, Balkan's, Balkan's, you know, logic is warped because of the Batman effect. Nah, the thing is, you know, also in the stream, you know, I was so happy again, more Batman content. I'm happy about every Batman content, and then you see the guys, you know, there are a lot of guys like you, Patriot. They're not big Batman fans, and you say, "Why Batman again? No, no, no team. What's with Superman?" And <laughs> Can we get some more Green Lantern content? How about that? Yeah, Kyle oh, Rayner will guy. come soon. <laughs> I want some of that. Okay, Yins will be showing. Um, according to Decon, Yins will be showing off the new Fifty Two Batman at SW Live, not the, the fourth Bat skin. Okay, so my apologies. Yeah. But but this other Batman skin, according to Duncan, may be coming out holiday season. So be prepared for that. It's a whole Bat year, fifth anniversary of Batman, a whole year long. How do you like that? Super Patriot, I mean, uh, Superman can't even get a freaking day. Yes! Yeah. In your face, Metropolis Killer. Metropolis Killer. Oh, that was actually pretty cool, because Jens did this whole tweet thing. Apparently, because when he drives, he likes to tweet at the same time in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, he tweeted out this question. It's like, who, or like, which one had more destruction? Was it Superman in Metropolis or the Avengers in Manhattan? Which one had the more devastation? Oh, and, you're talking about the, from the movies? Yeah. Everyone yeah, says man, Metropolis. Still, man, it still wrecked Metropolis. <laughs> totally destroyed that city. I was watching that, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, how, how do they how do they justify this? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a lot. People have died. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens when you drop a world engine on top of a city. Yeah, like basically it. <laughs> it was so rough. Um, yeah, but uh, so well, that's uh, because that's because you know the Avengers were good enough to contain it to one area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I so went there. I went yeah, there. Yeah. Apparently, I went, there. I went there. Hey, you know what though? If Batman had been there, it, you know Zod would have won. <laughs> look, I'm look. I kneel already. I can already do the kneel before Zod, so I'm okay. I already kneel, so I already know who I need to go. Calm down. Uh, apparently, Decon comes in with the chat. Avengers had a nuke. Man of Steel got hit by that nuke. That's that's a good. That's basically what happened. Yeah, I can go with that. That's exactly what happened. So. Uh, the cool thing, uh, they actually had, it was another PvE challenge tonight over in, well, with the four Luthers, uh, and we had the Dutch, t uh, league can't Dutch this, and they did phenomenal, just phenomenal. Yeah, they, they did very well. They got all the way up to level nine, to, well, like, completely. Does it count that they didn't complete 99? No. So they're still tied at the 98? Um, I think so, yes. Okay. So they they went all the way up to 99, but they got stopped right there at uh, 98, which ties them with the other league. I can't remember who it is. I, I, I can't was, remember. Uh, who it was. Was it, was it, it was on there last week? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Honestly, it was... Um... Oh, crap. Cause I gave him so much praise because I it's like on the tip of my tongue. Like legend or something? I can't no. remember. I cannot remember. Somebody will somebody will handle it. Yeah, somebody somebody will handle it. <laughs> somebody will handle it. So, uh congratulations to Can't Dutch this. You guys did a phenomenal job uh with this PvE challenge. And uh and and you know what? Because they did their own shoutouts. Congratulations for the uh, anniversaries, to the marriage anniversaries, to the uh, to the league mates who have them. That was really cool, and congratulations, and many more years ahead of you. That's what you say, right? I guess. 
Or, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. You guys did a phenomenal job. I'm really, uh, really impressed. And hopefully you can, uh, hopefully next time. Next time. But getting tied for first, it's still an amazing accomplishment. It's still an amazing accomplishment. Uh, Michael Grid's coming in. Everybody's coming in saying it was Reason. Reason. Okay. Reason. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, so now, FNL will not be here next week. Uh, of course, we will all be in, uh, you know, that place. SW Live in <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. And so, no FNL next week. They will be back for FNL in two weeks' time, which I'm actually quite shocked, really, because I, I would expect them to have like a, at least a week off or something. Just, but hey, you know what? Then we'll power to them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, so FNL is going to be in two weeks once again. Vegas, yes. So that's it for FNL for tonight. Once again, congratulations to Can't Dutch this. Really awesome job. Really awesome job. All right. So, uh, for the f- little forum post I found, and, of course, there's many other topics going around, especially uh, with DLC 11 stuff. Luckily, I've, I think I picked up a good one to discuss about it. Uh, but with this forum post I want to talk about, it's entitled, I Am Wonder Woman. No, you're not. The reason I wanted to highlight this is because it's seven pages long. First off, when I was looking at this, it was only four pages. So, the extra three pages, congratulations! Why? I, I, st- I actually I, I stopped at two. Because, I, I, one, I didn't actually care any more about it. Because it just went on to just nonsense. But this is uh, basically a, a player came in. And if we all remember, there are two voices of Wonder Woman in this game. One is, of course... Susan Eisenberg, who has done Amazon Fury, who is, in mm. a lot of people's eyes, the Wonder Woman voice, just like Mark Hamill. She is, is, she, is, she, is, she, is to, she is to Wonder Woman as Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill are to Batman and Joker. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, and you know what? And I completely agree. Completely agree. Love Susan. She is an amazing voice actress. Amazing actress. But we also remember that we had Gina... Actually, I can't. I'm trying to actually find her name because I can't remember, uh, remember it. Yeah, Gina Torres. Gina, Gina Torres. Torres. Thank you. Gina Torres was the original Woman or Woman voice for the game. So this player came in and, and you know what? And compliments here, of course. I mean, Gina, beautiful, wonderful, but your voice was removed from being Wonder Woman due to a number of reasons. What those reasons were, I don't know. I don't work in, at SOE Live, so I don't know what those reasons are, and neither do you. You can speculate what those reasons are, but you're just really speculating. Nah, you, well, you, you only have I mean, salt. I mean, you can say, I mean, it, it, it has to be said. I mean, Gina Torres, you know, great actress. Um, oh, yeah. You know, she, everybody knows her from, you know, Firefly or from the current uh, USA show uh, Suits. Um. She's a great actress and everything, uh, but not many people were pleased with her voice acting for Wonder Woman. Very true. Very true. Um, in the game. Uh, you know, and that, that's been vocalized pretty much since the launch. Uh, you know, and it, I think it gathered a following. And, you know, they may have gone and they may have gotten Susan uh, Eisenberg to uh, do the voice, you know, and as a response to that. You know, I mean, you know, kind of give the fans what they wanted. Um, also, it may have had to do with, uh, you know, it may have simply had to do with uh, um, contracting and availability because, you know, here we were with uh, Amazon Fury, or actually, I believe it, it started with uh, um, the Trigon. You're right, this started with Trigon, my apologies. Uh, Susan came back, and Wonder Woman was used a lot in... Uh, that DLC for that for that DLC, and uh, that's when Susan was in, reintroduced, uh, you know, in, well, was introduced into the game as the voice of Wonder Woman. Uh, she was used, you know, Wonder Woman was used extensively throughout the game and everything, and uh, through that DLC. So uh, Gina Torres just may not have been available. Yeah, to do the voice acting for it. So they, you know, 
got in touch with Susan Eisenberg to see if she she was available for it. Obviously, she is a huge Wonder Woman fan. If you guys follow her on Twitter, she every Saturday morning she does a uh, kind of a uh, uh, live commentary on Twitter of um, the Justice League episode that is on that morning. I forget what I think it's on the CW or something. Yeah, I, can't remember. I think so. But um, so. But and really, this post is basically one saying that because the the voice that we hear Gina, in case you don't know, is when you're leveling level when you hit your level thirty, you there's a there's the short uh, cut scenes that you know the comic cut scenes and it has Gina Gina doing the voice of Wonder Woman. I am Wonder Woman, and this is basically where that stemmed from because Susan hasn't gone back and. They haven't redid that section. Honestly, I don't care. That is the most smallest little molecule thing that I would really not have to worry about. It might be. Yeah, it com- certainly doesn't. It certainly doesn't warrant seven pages of a forum post. It does not. And, and, and I'm going to have to disagree because Gina is Wonder Woman. Susan Eisenberg is Wonder Woman. You don't really want to get into that kind of. L- into that kind of an issue, because if that's the case, then Henry Cavill is not Superman. Christopher Reeves is not Superman. Okay, those guys weren't even the original Superman. I cannot remember his name, but I'm kind of sure his name was George. Was the original Superman? George Reeves. George Reeves. Thank you. That's right, Reeves. Christopher Reeves. Yeah, no relation. But yeah, Gina Torres. I'm sorry if that really hurts your consistency with your continuity of the of voice actresses, but as in the voice acting game, you have a contract. Yeah, you have a contract. You have to do these lines. You do those lines, and they might only pertain to that DLC. You never know. They might go to the next DLC, and it's like, you know what, Susan? We don't want you back. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back with Gina and see how it goes again. You never know. We're not in the office. You never know how what kind of conversations go on there, but. This didn't need a seven-page thread. Yeah, that did not need... I mean... Come on! Of all, of all, of all things to, like, extensively discuss on the forums... And why is that still in Gotham City? I don't know. I, I, I just... <laughs> I mean, you only hear Gina's voice one time. Yeah. One time. And you never have to really hear it again unless you like watching the the cutscenes and you just want to hear it again. And you're and at that point you're hurting yourself. And we just you just stop hurting yourself, please. That's just not nice. But yeah, seven pages for a for a voice thing. Nah. But Gina is Wonder Woman. No one can take that away from her. I guess like I can't take away Mark Hamill being Joker. Actually, yeah. I kind of wish I could take Tommy Lee Jones away from Two Face, but you know it's set in it's it's set in stone. Why'd you have to screw it up, Tommy? Why'd you have to screw it up? I don't blame Tommy Lee Jones for that. I Tommy don't, Lee but Jones still, is, I. It's, he's an exceptional actor. He is an exceptional I blame, actor. I blame the writing and the director and Warner Brothers and DC Comics. And <laughs> 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 Can we just blame? Let's just blame Schumacher, right? Let's just go with that. I mean, you could. I mean, honestly, I mean, you could say you know Val Kilmer was probably one of the better Batman's, you know, in in those movies. Uh, There's a whole bunch of problems with those movies. A whole bunch yeah, of but but I mean, man, I'm gonna have to stop with this multi twitch thing and go to your stream and just. Thank somebody. Somebody else doesn't beat me to him. <laughs> okay. All right. So that was it. That was the forum post I want to talk about. But, you know, because I saw it. It kind of irritated me a little bit. Because, yeah. But, you know, they're complaining about that and they're not complaining about other things. So I guess that's that's a good thing. Whatever. So, SOE Live. SOE Live. Next week. Starts Thursday. 
So your Patriots going to be there. I'm going to be there. Michael Grid's going to be there. Bur uh, Burke Dave is going to be there. Cypher's going to be there. A whole bunch of people are going to be there. We're all going to have so much fun. Ticket's going to be there. GR is going to be. Uh, ah, it's going to be so much fun. So Brittany's not going to be there. Shut it up. There. Shut it up. You break my heart. That's what you do. I'm not going to hold this individual. Just ban them. That's why. That's why I do. I can't. I can't. I don't have that option. Yeah, you can. You're a mod. I don't have that option at this moment. Uh, someone deal with it then. Uh, so, S we live here next week. Uh, so, we're gonna break down what is going on. We're gonna break down what's going on. Starting f uh, and uh, and let me. Also, reiterate to you guys this: If you have, I did re release a SOE Live announcement video saying what I'm going to be doing there. Basically, I'm going to be covering DCUL. I'm going to try and leak into some other stuff like H1Z1, Lamb, uh, EverQuest Landmark. Try and get some, get my fingers into other stuff. But for DCUL wise, I will be recording all of the panels once again this year. I. I have a method where I think I can stream. I think I can stream. The issue is where the panel is, it might not have a good cell reception because I can just connect my, I can just tether my phone. I might not have a good cell reception or to tether, or I might not have, there might just not be any internet connection with the Wi-Fi for the area because they have a lot of different stuff going on. So it's it's gonna get really crazy internet wise. So if I can stream, I'll stream. But if I can't, videos will be up. Uh, I get back Monday night. I think I'm gonna probably start editing videos on that Tuesday because I have a Tuesday off. That Tuesday when I wake up is whoosh, nothing but videos being made, nothing but videos being edited. So I, if I can pop out a video on a Tuesday, I will. But most likely, it'll probably pop out on the, like that next Wednesday, that following Wednesday. But so let's talk about the panels that are gonna be there. On Friday at 9 a.m., the DCO Roundtable, Why I Play. What motivates you to go further and achieve more in DCO? Feats, gear, storylines, leagues? Join the development team for this roundtable discussion. So, we're going to talk about why we play. Basically, I have a YouTube channel and I like to eat. That's why I play. <laughs> but, sadly enough, I don't eat very well. But, <laughs> but, uh, but. I mean, well, well, I'll just balk you don't You don't eat very well. Last year, Trex, Trex experienced many firsts last year. I mean, you know, his first, <laughs> his first, first, uh, his, his first line of uh, a white substance. Um, that sugar was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he experienced his first hamburger. I did. But and he, I cannot wait to go back. Uh, he did it in style. He did it at Gordon Ramsay's Burger uh, Restaurant there in Planet Hollywood. So good. Cannot uh, wait to go back. But, but is it, the thing is, he can never eat a lesser hamburger again. <laughs> I went to Buffalo Wild Wings, and, and this was like literally when I got back the following week. Me, me and my buddies went to Buffalo Wild Wings to have some dinner, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to have myself a hamburger. Waitress comes up. Yeah, let me get the bacon cheeseburger. Uh, well done. One, I know the waitress. She's our, we're her regular customers every Thursday night. She laughs in my face. I'm like, <laughs> you think we cook it fresh? It's a frozen patty. I'm like, oh, I don't want that. See, I am not a frozen patty guy. I want my handmade, hand fresh. But uh, but since Vulcan's not going to be at SWE Live, how about this? Vulcan, why do you play? Why I play? Why do you play? Well, I like to play and I'm Eastern European. <laughs> I don't no, know what that I means. Like Is that what? in your window? <laughs> you like to eat? I'm Eastern European. There's a good reason like yours. <laughs> now, why I meant I like... why you play the game. Yeah, like I said. Because East... Nah, nah, seriously, I'm... I like the game because Batman. Is this a reason enough? I feel like I feel that's like you just you can just that's that's it for him. That's all we're gonna hear. No, no, no. The thing is, the thing is, is like um, every every Batman 
fan's answer to every question. It's like Batman's no, okay. answer to every question. I'm Batman. <laughs> yeah. I'm because Batman. I'm Batman. Okay. Your garbage ah, okay, kills um... money. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the thing is, um, I like DCUO because um, I actually like MMOs. I like playing anyway, you know. I grew up with playing, and yeah, I played couple other MMOs, but free-to-play games, you know, but then I saw first time on the beta DCO, I was PlayStation Plus, I was like, wow, let's get it, and then, now I'm saying DCO is my drug, always, if I took a break, I always come back, I don't know, I think I will sell my sister for DCO, <laughs> so this is how much you, I like you, it. You, 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 I won't get into it, alright, but you offered your sister to me once before, okay? You're not allowed to offer your sister up for things, all right, just because you don't like her, all right? Because you don't like your sister, all right? That means she has no value to you, all right? He's in Eastern Europe. They have different cultures. You have to respect everybody, that. Everybody keep that in mind, all right? If Vulcan offers to give him, give you his sister for something that he wants, okay, he has he doesn't like his sister, okay? So it's not like, you know, he's given up anything of value to him. You know, make him give up who his likes, Batman inspired man. I, who I, likes their sister? It's I, a thing. Human <laughs> traffic. Eastern Europeans are out in human traffic. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> well, there's your history lesson. The test will be on Monday. <laughs> there's a pop quiz on Monday. <laughs> oh, Alright, so, um, and then at, on Friday at 10.30, we have the DCO Design with the Devs Part 1. They got smart after last year, because not only did yeah. it go longer than the hour, it bled into it didn't bleed into our into our show or into our panel. Sorry, into our panel. It kind of like everyone didn't have time to go eat, so they all went to eat instead of came to our panel, which is probably why we don't have a panel this year. I'm not pointing names, pointing fingers, but uh, I die a little inside. I'm having a hard time finding the link to the uh, <laughs> schedule. Oh, I, I have Google Drive. And Matt says we need to keep it classy. <laughs> this is what happens what when we get a European. Keeping classy. Well, what we is... well we have to, we have to keep it classy because Meps once again, thank thank you, Meps is uh, stream is uh, hosting Trex's channel in the DCO Sourcecast on DCO Stream right now. Yeah, so Whoops. this will be the last time we get hosted on the DCO yeah. main channel. Yeah. It was the second time. It only took two. Only took two episodes. <laughs> That's a record. <laughs> so Oops, uh, I didn't know this. Why well, didn't told me this before, man? I wouldn't say this. <laughs> <laughs> I blame Suits. Oh, <laughs> but I was not that dirty. Come on, I was okay. I was okay. I'm sorry. Simmer. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> this All is right. just my humor, you know. I'm and, a good and guy. Michael, Michael, if if Spittle can drop f bombs on 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 DCO stream, how come I how come we can? Um, That's my question. And Matt's right. Yeah, he <laughs> said the f word. You see, you see. Ah, no, no, I don't say sorry. I remove this. I yeah. remove my sorry straight. No, 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 no. This is why Greg gets banned on. He gets timed out on their channel. This is why. I know, I know. it cracks me up every week. Spittle is like, "Is Michael Grid in the chat?" <laughs> okay, he hasn't said anything yet. I can't ban him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the design with the devs is something that we experienced last year, and we are. Oh, when you're the trip, when you're the creative director <laughs> on a AAA MMO, you can well, too, Soups. Right, right. Boom! Here's the, here's the thing, that's, we had this conversation earlier, okay? It's like, I got berated and asked why you guys were shutting the server down earlier today. So, do I get to have a dev shirt? Because <laughs> apparently people think I am. <laughs> I, I would like a shirt, too. I, I'll even cross out dev. I'll, I'll, it's like cross out yeah. dev. Just give me the shirt. Uh, but all right. So the design with the devs, we get to work with the development team, and actually they go through the process with us on how they design the game, how they design these DLCs. So uh, this is going to be part one, 
in this workshop, we'll get to see the nuts and bolts of the game design process firsthand and design the uh, potential content for DCUO. This is part one, and he puts in bold, there will be homework. Yes. No, but we'll get your ticket at SV Live. Because, You're welcome. Because, wow. Well, there is there is a uh, uh, second uh, dev panel, uh, de develop with the dev panel the next day, isn't there? That there is. Don't get ahead of me. <laughs> uh, and oh, then... <laughs> I want to go SOE Live, man. I wanted to go last year, but yeah, but then, oh, man, this is expensive from Europe, you know, to America. Yeah. Maybe next it's, year. <laughs> it's expensive to oh, America to why America. Don't you, why, don't, why don't you travel over here uh, the same way that you plan on shipping your sister over here, Tim? Stop it. Keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it clean. <laughs> the thing is, you know, Patriot, you have to know, I can talk about my sister. You can't, you know. So <laughs> I've defended this poor girl. <laughs> I was like, no, I feel no, no, no! You're not for defending. Her. You're not defending. No, no, I feel bad for her. You are a evil, evil, mean brother. I was always a good brother, but then she took my better rank. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea where my show goes. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, I don't mean battering something dirty, you know. Hey, no, we you... no, we know you meant battering. You didn't have to like, imply anything beside it. We know you meant the weapon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, at two o'clock on Friday that's, will be that's the calling me out in the chat, man. What's up with that, dude? That's what I'm he joking, does. Man. That's what I he know, does. I'm not. I want the shirt. Personal. He's oh. taking it personal, though. <laughs> Question: Is really Maps pay you or give you the SOE life ticket? God no. Or did you pay it, man? I want to. Oh, actually, yeah. well, be, well, because Maps, we're part Maps of the council. Out, Maps whipped out his black, you know, uh, American Express card <laughs> and <laughs> paid for everything. Yeah. Why not Mastercard? <laughs> Who uses a Mastercard? It's American Express. <laughs> Don't leave home with either. <laughs> see, see, Where is now the, look who's trying to get sponsorships. Huh? Where's Creation Express? Man? <laughs> this is this is how we get this is how we get sponsorships. American Express, bam! All right, yeah. so at two o'clock on Friday will be the DCUO keynote address by our senior creative director, Yen Spittle Anderson. Uh, this will this is actually one of the panels that will be live streamed. So, and I believe it's going to be on twitch.tv backslash SOE. I believe that's their, that's the SOE's main channel. I think that's where it's going to be. Uh, if one of the guys in chat can verify that for me, the address. But yeah, the keynotes should be live streamed from, uh, onto that Twitch channel. So twitch.tv backslash SOE, the guys in chat are going to double check on it for me. Uh, and then... Uh, at 4 o'clock, we have the DCO panel, Action, Combat, and an Open World. What are the rewards and challenges of designing and engineering action combat in a massive in, in a massive online world? Find out how both change over time and what's next. So, I'm actually intrigued. I can't wait to actually go to that one. I'm actually really intrigued. Because we've, of course, seen the evolution of... Uh, thank you, uh, MEPS. Yeah, Twitch.tv backslash SOE. So we've seen the combat evolve. We've seen it change over from where it was in beta, which I wasn't in beta, but I keep hearing the good stories. Uh, and then... <laughs> <laughs> the days of beta. The good stories. Of the, there were no good stories, okay? <laughs> from the days of beta. All right. You know, oh, with, with, oh, with the, hold on. Oh, right, Lux, take... oh, sorry. Hold on. The, the, uh, one, the, the, the one guy outside of East End PD... Uh, glitching the Amazonian deflection, killing everybody. Uh, so apparently they just actually updated the information from that combat panel. I mean, I, I did this thing. I, I'm reading off Google Drive. I did this like earlier this week. So what does it take to create the action combat in a massive online world? Join the DCO team to see how combat and abilities are designed, engineered, and implemented in this in-depth, behind-the-scenes look in, at the nuts and bolts that drive DCO. You guys are going to effing love that video. I really want to stream this thing now. I really do. <laughs> that is going to be amazing. 
especially for all you guys who want to go try to get into the game development world, this is probably a panel that you really want to see. Then, yeah. then at five o'clock. Well, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, sorry. I'm, 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 kind, I'm kind of curious. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask them why they changed some of the animations on some things. You know, like I don't know. Um, what is it? What is it for gadgets? Is it, is it sticky bomb or is it gauze grenade? It looks, makes you look like you're, you're throwing a pitch at a baseball game. You mean softball? Because it's underhand. No, it, no that's napalm. That's napalm. I, uh, animizer. Um, oh, oh, overhand. Yeah. Um, that would be sticky. Yeah, the, over, the overhand. The yeah, overhand. Be sticky. Yes. Yeah, I just, every every time every time I I do that with my, my gadget tune, it just feels like you know. So now pitching, super patriot, <laughs> <laughs> and a miss. Uh, and then at five o'clock, this is actually gonna be for two hours too. This is the DCO deck building with the devs. Join the DCO devs and players and play in DC Comics deck building game by Cryptozoic. Uh, don't worry if you haven't played, we'll teach you. Now. I will not be participating in the deck building. I have a camera. I am a director. I will be filming the whole dang thing, and I'm going to be watching you people play this. This is... Cypher and Michael Grid are huge, huge players with this deck building game, because they keep tweeting me all this cool stuff, and it's like, oh, that's really cool. You guys are going to completely destroy this whole thing because they know what they're doing, and most people probably don't. But uh, it's going to be a really, it's going to be a really fun uh, little panel for two hours. It's uh, I can't wait to actually see how it's going to go down. I can't wait to see. Hopefully, actually, I get to talk to some of the guys from Cryptozoic so they can talk about this game a little bit. My local comic book store does have the actual forty dollar main edition thing. Uh, I just haven't had to come down to the point of dropping forty bucks on it yet. So I may play a little bit of it at the panel. I never, you, you never know. But I am a director, prestige. So, uh, <laughs> and and that's it for Friday, unless you include the zombie prom party, which I think some of us may have a little brandy with us. <laughs> 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 Oh, and by the way, speaking of that, uh, Yen's apparently announced on FNL that they he has a meme contest going on. So, uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it has something to do with Meps and probably taking pictures of Meps at SLE Live and tweeting it with funny captions and stuff, probably. That's, that's basically, I think, what he wants to go down with it. So, uh, have your camera phones ready, have your vehicle cameras ready, take pictures of Meps with doing funny stuff, doing... Anything really, and put a meme to it, and send it to Spittle. Tweet it to him. I think his whole weekend is just gonna be him on Twitter, just seeing all the posts. <laughs> that would be really cool. All right, so and here comes Sar- uh, Saturday. As soon as I scroll down, Saturday at 9 a.m. is the DCO tournament. <sighs> 9 a.m. We have a prom party the night before. Nobody gonna be sleeping. Nobody. Nobody's gonna get there on time. Besides the diehard players who are actually in the tournament, you'll you'll see them just going. What's wrong with you guys? You all seem to be sick, Mike. Dude, you're talking too loud. You're talking too loud. I might, I'm, I might be there because you know I'll still be up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like I'm still going, man. I got Red Bull and some five hour energy drinks. I'm just gonna mix it up into one big cocktail. So at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. is the DCO tournament, which will be, I believe this is going to be streamed on, I think it's going to be streamed actually on uh, on DCO's Twitch channel. I want, I'll want i wait for Meps to confirm if we're going to, which Twitch is going to be on, if it's going to be streamed. I think it's going to be streamed. It better be streamed. Uh, which I'm also, I I have to give a shout out because I, I, I absolutely love them. Uh, my buddies over at the ReachCast, which is a Planet Side 2 podcast, I have I have to go to this uh, 9 a.m. DCO tournament so I can I, so I can cover it a little bit. Oh, it's going to be on SOE's Twitch channel. Everything will be on SOE's Twitch channel. Twitch.tv backslash SOE will be everything, everything. So follow that channel. Uh, and We're being asked, we we've been asked if we've been rehearsing our Ebony and Ivory duet. Who asked? 
<laughs> I see I'm apparently in. <laughs> um, I am, um, I have to look at the lyrics. I, I, I don't know these lyrics. <laughs> but anyway. say we do... I still say we do the Joe Piscopo as Frank Sinatra and Eddie Murphy as Stevie Wonder version of it. Yeah, I can, I can probably go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Send me the link. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so at 9 a.m., I'm going to be at the D-Show tournament, but in case you guys are wondering what else is going on during this time frame, even though you all should be watching the stream or at the actually at the tournament, my buddies at the ReachCast are apparently... I don't know if they're doing it, but they keep really promoting it a little bit. They're doing like this Planet Side 2 laser tag at the same time as the tournament. Like, I think down the block or something, there's like a bus that'll take you to the place and it's like a big laser tag. I want to do laser tag! I so want to do that! This is what happens when it, when you go to a convention. It's like, I want to go do this, but uh, I'm committed, because I'm committed, I have to be here, but Planet Side 2 laser tag. But, anyways, uh, DCO Tournament's going to be over at twitch.tv backslash SOE, so be sure to uh, watch that as much as possible. And I cannot wait to see who shows up, who's going to be in this tournament. It's going to be really wicked. Uh, then, luckily we have an hour break. Uh, at 2 o'clock, it's a player panel. The player panel for DCO. Advanced raid tactics, approaching new content. This is, excuse me, this is done by... Odyssey. We have Odyssey is this, is this, there. Is this the EU or the US Odyssey? I don't know. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Uh, the, <laughs> I know some people from EU Odyssey are coming to SOE Live. I think Tess is going to be there. If I, if I heard correctly, I think we, I think Tess is going to be there. So cool. Yeah, uh, Map says EU Odyssey. So yay, get to see, some, ah, get to get to finally meet them. It's gonna be great. So much fun. So they're gonna be on a panel discussing the advanced rating tactics and principles used in competitive PVE environment while approaching, understanding, and competing or completing new content. It's gonna be fun. I cannot wait to actually record that either. Here's a lot of these are gonna be really good. <laughs> I like Maps in the chat describing. Plant Side 2's laser tag, laser, laser tag team. Uh, oh, oh, what is that? Basically, say, basically saying that plant uh, that the, their 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 laser tag. Uh, Read for beta. Read for beta is is like Plant Side 2, except way less fun, worse graphics, and you get winded. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just made it sound like absolutely no fun at all. <laughs> so why, so why go to it? And instead, you guys can go watch uh, these duos. Yeah, two legends tournament. Woo! Yeah, do that. Yeah, see, that's that's what that's what you were supposed to do. Apparently, you no. Know. I'm sorry. I'm an active guy. <laughs> In Cipher, unless you're paying for my laser tag on Tuesday night, we can definitely do that. I, I will no actually I got well I don't know it, whenever laser tag ends I have dinner I have to do that on Tuesday night with some friends that I'm meeting up with uh, and at three o'clock uh, at three o'clock we have the DCO panel telling stories in DC Universe uh, so creating and telling stories in DCO is a massive undertaking from iconic characters to storylines to voice acting see what it takes firsthand most likely we're gonna see our favorite assistant creative director. Nerd of Prey, she, uh, I can definitely see she's going to be on this panel, and I, ca I can't wait to hear uh, how the storytelling goes. You're really seeing a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, so it's going to be really good. Uh, and then at 4 o'clock, we have Design with the Devs Part 2. So we'll present and uh, iterate your concepts from Part 1. What's the develop team's feedback and then finalize on your piece for potential content? So... That will be part two. Yay. Uh, and then at 5 o'clock is the DCO Another Round Table. It's PvE Season 3 and beyond. So, player versus player combat is ramping up with the introduction of our third PvP season. See what the future holds for Legends and Arena PvP. Meaning that this 
will be all handled by Super Patriot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> will I be able to take a nap during the, I, I'm not the PVE guy, I'm not the PVP guy, I have to let Super Patriot handle this one, he, he, I'm just gonna sit in the corner just recording it, and just like, here you go, just handle everything, uh, and so that's gonna be Saturday, and then on Sunday, the final day, we have, at noon, will be the Legends and DCO panel. The past, present, and future Legends characters and skins for DCUO. And then at 2 o'clock will be the uh, will be the hindsight is 2020. From initial idea, thought, uh, uh, iteration, and on to launch, nothing turns out quite how you thought it would be uh, in an always evolving world. Join us for a behind the scenes look at specific cases, see what happened, what we wanted to happen, and what we've learned. So that will be the last panel on Sunday. Is uh, we'll be just giving you a glimpse on how they come up with these amazing concepts, but they just can't. They for whatever reason they just can't implement it. So this would be a, another good one to uh, watch into, and it's gonna it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So that is the DCO stuff happening at SLE Live next week. Who's all excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. I just realized. I'm excited. When are we? When are we doing our thing? Since we didn't get a player panel this year, because apparently, you know, the design with the devs thing takes two days. And <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Odyssey, because they're Odyssey, they get a they get a panel to tell people how to raid. Um, <laughs> why? What what are we doing? <sighs> Sorry. Need to get my thirst quencher going. So. I should, I've been meaning to message you all, <laughs> all week about this. So. <laughs> so. We don't have a panel. And of course, uh, if you watch my announcement video, I am looking at... Sunday is... Sunday is just an open day, because pan like I mean for DCO for us our last panel is gonna be at three o'clock. I know people are gonna be leaving Sunday night. People are gonna be out doing the family stuff with their loved ones or just hanging out with their friends Sunday. I mean, Sunday is the open day. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys not to do that, or at least not at the moment. What I'm planning is at four o'clock in my hotel room. Which I will definitely, I'll be giving that information out on a need to know basis at SLE Live. <laughs> <laughs> just random people from like, you know, Oklahoma sending hookers to your room. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> you have the Eastern European telling you classy. Nice. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have a little. We're gonna have a, that would be something I would so do if I couldn't make it this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the people I hang out with. <laughs> so uh, I'm looking at like three thirty, four o'clock. I'm just gonna like just doors just gonna be open. People are just going to be flooding in. We're going to have a nice little party in my hotel room. Uh, just a little nice little DCO get together. We can talk about how the convention was. And we are going to record a source cast. We're going to record it. Everybody in the room is going to be part of it. Just you live stream it? I am going to try. Okay. It, BYOB. BYOB, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. B Y O B Y O B and B. I want to put it that way. Uh, anyone from uh, anyone Ask at uh, what the other B stands for? <laughs> anyone uh, <laughs> at S O E? Anyone at S O E Live for uh, if you're a DCO player, come on by. If you're not a DCO player, come on by. Uh, join in on the DCO fun. It's going to be completely, completely mad fun. Uh, but uh, we're going to have uh, the party at my place <laughs> on Sunday. Uh, I know a lot of people have to leave Sunday, so or Sunday night. Uh, I know actually one of them are actually having to leave pretty early on Sunday, so 
I'll try and we're gonna try and probably do the recording as early into it as possible. So if you can get there by four o'clock, please get there by four o'clock because we're gonna. St- I'll start the podcast. We'll start recording, having a good old time, and then when people need to leave, when you leave, we'll probably record for like maybe an hour, hour and a half, and then other than that, pff, we're just gonna rock it out. Just have some fun and just chill. Cause we're we're gonna we're gonna end S O E live on a nice slow jam of the DCO source cast. That's how I roll. That's how we're gonna roll it. We're gonna slow jam the source cast. Is this, is this like Jimmy Fallon? You know, if President Obama can, can do it, it, we can do it. <laughs> Word. <laughs> I don't know how to slow jam actually. No, oh, I think of it. We're gonna have to get together that before the show at least, <laughs> and you know, work that out. <laughs> so. Uh, and of course, uh, to any of the developers, and I mean, like I get, like again, Sunday is that chill day. The developers are going to be so busy doing everything. The inv- invitation will be for the developers as well. At the same time, I know you guys fear for your safety. I will have security at the door and around you guys to make sure you guys don't get bombarded by fans. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, the developers are more than happy to jump in this as well. Uh, it was also it was great having Yins just jump in on the Sourcecast last year. That was really cool. So, but that's the plan. Sunday at four o'clock will be the DSO Sourcecast party. I guess this is going to be the word. Sor- the Sourcecast party at four o'clock on Sunday. Uh, please, I want I, I want all you guys to join. If I can live stream it, it will be live streamed. It, I, I say again, if it can be live streamed, it will be. If that if I can't, that means that something above myself, I just can't do it. So. So that's that's we live next week, starting Thursday. All the streaming will be done over at twitch.tv backslash soe. You need to go follow it. Uh, uh, you need to go follow that channel, so you guys can stay up to date on when things are going to happen. Next Sunday is the DCO Drunk Cast. Huh? You never know. Mm-hmm. I. It's, I mean, it's like, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Come on. And, and <laughs> it's Vegas, man. <laughs> it's Vegas. It's, that's not an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, if I, can, if I can get up at 5.30 in the morning last Saturday to go to a golf outing, all right, that's and true. crack open my first beer before tee off at 7.00. All right, you can get drunk on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> All right, so going into a little bit of discussion stuff. And we haven't heard from Balkan in a while, and it's okay, Balkan. We still love you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, have, you, have you got uh, – we're going to talk a little bit about DLC content. Or actually, for, okay. before, before, we, before we go into that, because the, the other thing can actually be a lot faster. I want to talk about the legendary benefits – with the release of DLC 11, maybe it was before, but I wasn't paying attention to the release of this content, we got the auras added to the marketplace. We got the auras and the slim auras added to the marketplace. Was that before DLC 11? Or, 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 yeah. or it was before? The auras came with, the core auras came with update 39. Update 39, thank you. Okay. Wow. Holy crap. We completely missed that. We did no, not was, talk about that. Update 39 was leak holes. So yeah, we did talk about it. Man, my days are blending together. So, <laughs> so with the with, uh, with the auras now into the marketplace, it kind of brought the question to a lot of people, what was what is the point of legendary? A lot of people also had the problem or really they had an issue because Legendary didn't get that early access that we've seen in other DLCs. Right. And uh, let me at least say this. The fact that DLC 11 came out before SOE Live, I gotta give an applause here. Yeah. I, I, I honestly expected it after because we have this solid week of DLC 11 being released and then... Mm-hmm. 
then the developers leave. Well, there's still people at home. There's still people at the office. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's not like they're just leaving it all. Like, but, like, the heads of the development team are going to be at SOE Live. So. Yeah, so. <laughs> all the people, all the decision-making people <laughs> <laughs> are still only a phone call away. But, you know, all the people doing the grunt work are still going to be, you know, in Austin. So. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so I mean, there was no early access to this. It's okay. The fact that this was done before SV Live, before, and especially during this time, that I know the devs are just going all over the place to get stuff finalized for SV Live, to get stuff planned, to make sure content's all looking good, to get the bug fixes out there. I mean, the guys are under, of course, more st- or under stress as normal that DLC launch would bring. And they also have the task of this convention coming up next week. So there was no early access, and that's okay. But now that we have the auras now in the marketplace, well, what's the point of the Prometheum lockboxes then? Because the auras were specifically coming from the from the lockboxes. Yeah, there's a lot of things coming from those lockboxes, though. Including a mark. That, uh, a and base appropriate mark items. For your tune. That's, base that's items true. and uh, lockbox styles, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming from those lockboxes, not just the auras. So, yeah. Auras so, on the marketplace, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about it. If, if somebody's willing to, you know, pay money for an aura, let them. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and uh, Michael Gray. Uh, and Michael Gray did. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Um, if you buy Aura from the marketplace, is it redeemable for all your characters yep. or not? So then it is okay for 500 marketplace cash. If someone plays multiple characters and want to wear Aura, I mean, I'm personally a guy, you know, Gadget, we don't have Aura. Our power is money. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you, bu- you buy the green Aura from the marketplace, the green Aura is long locked on all of your tunes. Well, you just have to redeem it, but yeah, I mean, it's redeemable in all of your tunes. Uh, but the Marketplace auras are not tradable either. So it's not like you can buy them on the Marketplace and then try to pull them on the broker. So, ha. But just, but, but the fact that the auras are now in the Marketplace, just think of how much money they're going to get. It's going to be so good. So good for them. Yeah. That's what we want. We want SOE to get paid. Market the auras on the marketplace mm. sold slim auras sold. That's what we want. It's a good thing. And like Michael Grid said, they're all redeemable on all your characters. So now that you have, you still have, you can still get your auras from the lock boxes. That's still that. That's still in there. You, they're not taking that away. But now you have what's that c word? That it's um. Choice! You have the choice! <laughs> I love that word! You have the choice! People forget that they have a choice! And it's not set in stone. Weapon Master! It's a choice! <laughs> yeah. The thing it's that cracks me up is. You want to finish the stuff? Thing that, the thing that cracks me up is. Uh, I, I, I'm curious how many purple ores are actually in the cell. <laughs> yeah, I think none. I'm, no, I, I, well, I'm thinking probably none because if I ever, whenever I I get a purple aura, I will I intentionally put that on the broker for at least fifteen hundred. Did you remember so that, that way? That way, uh, that way, a free player can have an aura if he wants it that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Patriot, did you remember? I was doing eight lock boxes. I opened eight uh, booster bundles, and, and you saw how many purple auras I got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah, a lot of people that open a booster bundle like got a purple aura, not a plasmic or nimbus, I bet inside they start hating the purple aura, you know, this is like a aura <laughs> I don't want you. Go away from me. I mean I'm not even selling that aura. This is an aura I I, say, I mean, if I get the white aura in the broker, if I get the green, golden in the aura, but the purple is the only aura I just destroy. Circle, X, goodbye. No, 
triangle X. Goodbye, not circle. No, no, Balkan, no, 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 please I, tell me no. how you feel. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, no, I put the, I put, I either put them on the broker or if somebody says, "Hey, can I have an aura?" There you go. <laughs> I bet you've had those instances where it's like, "Man, does anyone have an aura?" I'm like, "Sure." Here you go. Oh no, I don't want the purple aura. It's like, oh, yeah, you yeah. want an aura, oh, I, but now you have a choice. You want an aura, but yeah, now, now, now you're being picky about it. <laughs> you're, you're, you come to me hat in hand. <laughs> You're saying my nickel's not enough. You need a quarter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and so I mean, we did, we didn't have the early access, and now the ore is on the marketplace. What's the benefit of being legendary? Well, again, the early access just didn't happen for this DLC because time constraints. We still have early access for other DLCs that they release, as long as they are not in a time constraint. We still get the Prometheum lockboxes. They we open them for free. We don't need to get a key from the marketplace. Oh look, we got an we, aura. Oh, I didn't have this aura. I didn't have to go to the marketplace and buy it. Sweet. Oh wait, don't I already get market uh, market cat marketplace cash or station cash for being legendary every month? Wow, I still get that aura for free. Replay out. badges, you get... Replay badges! Go ahead! And you don't have to pay like I do. I'm always begging, you know, in the US server because I'm premium there. Can you give me colas? I need to repair. <laughs> yeah. That's right. No cash limit still. Do you know how great that is in this game? I have that limit on the P on the PlayStation. It is not it's dandy. Horrible. Yeah, I can't, I can't even send Trex... So does the repair. Nope. Because he plays free on there. Yep. He's not spent a dime. Nope. To support the to support the game. Yeah. Oh damn it! On the place on the PlayStation side. What? <laughs> now you say it like that. <laughs> now I feel like a jerk. I'm I'm trying to just experience the free to play player. You know, walk a mile in their shoes. Hmm. The thing is, you know, I tell every premium free-to-play player, you know, maybe a couple say no, but seriously, if you once are legendary, trust me, you want to stay legendary. The thing is, you know, this is like, let's say, I say better, okay, but this is the only compare I can do. Let's say a drug, you know, some people like to smoke weed, and... I'm gonna go with a different different thing. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> you you never try it, you don't miss it. So if you never try legendary, you will not miss it. But once you use legendary, trust me, it's the best thing, you know? The best you can do. <laughs> so was this a bad compare or not? Hey, no, no, it was I, I guess it's really the only one you can really go with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> better compare. Come on, let's do better, or maybe you can. No, uh, you know what? You hit the nail on the chalkboard. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, Trex does read those, and you're right. The Nimbus Aura being sold on the marketplace would make mad money. Mad money. Yeah, but but it, they won't sell it. They will they not because more, it's part they, of the booster more thing. Than any more than they'll sell the plasma auras. That's correct. That is correct. I mean, those are those are just little special items with those yeah, those booster are bundles. Special incentive items in for people to buy the booster bundle items, which yeah. I'm hoping they do another booster bundle sale soon. Crossing I'm interested, to, I'm interested to see the red, white, and blue aura. Calm down. <laughs> no. Look, look. Odyssey gets a feat. All right. Nimbus Yosh gets an aura. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't even get sharpshooter legs. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I want to get something too, man. Now Bulk can imagine something with Bulk, man. Am I the a only person in this group that doesn't want anything? Chivapchichi. I'm the only person who doesn't want anything. You guys are greedy. Of course. I am. My reason is Eastern European. Allow me. Uh, Trex, you got the unicorn trinket. I call that a team effort. I don't really call that under me. Uh, uh, you got the unicorn trinket. I just supported it. 
It's not like no, my no, name is on it. No, your brony ass was all over that. <laughs> Look, don't bring flare shine to this, okay? <laughs> this, there's no reason to be dropping my ponies by the way, like by that. The way, by the way, I, 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 saw, I saw how much you liked that Fifty Shades of Trex. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that... What is this shades thing? I don't get it. You know, don't go. Not on this, this show. show. Which shade? What's this? Explain me now. I know. I'm serious. I mean, is there after the show. After the show. Shades? What is this about? Yeah. Let me just say, all, right, all I'm going to say about that Balkan is it's right up your alley. All right? <laughs> okay. It's right up your alley. All right? Okay. So, moral of the story. Legendary benefits. There's still a reason to be legendary. Don't make the whole no early access... Don't make the whole auras here, here, on the marketplace here, here, be a fear. Here's a, scenario, here's a scenario for everybody, okay? It's either they released it to everybody this week or they waited until after live, all right, gave us early access and then released it following week. Which would everybody rather have? Would you rather wait another two, three weeks to get it or would you rather have it now? Judging by, judging, by, judging by how most people are in the DCO community, it, everybody wanted it now. So, hell, I wanted it now. So I'm not even upset about not having early access. Exactly. I, I say anyway, even with the early access or not, the thing is, if you are not legendary, don't buy the DLC, don't have it. So one week, yes or no, pfft. This, this will anyway feel special for you because you don't have to pay for it. And yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, and then the... <laughs> I am an advertising god. <laughs> so, the last discussion I wanted to talk about is DLC 11 content. Is the health too damn high? Now, I... Oh. I brought this up because there's been a couple of posts. There, are, there have been a couple of posts about the health being too high. There have been Yins even tweeted because it was actually a thread too. Oh my god, I need to find that thread. Actually, I think I have it right here. Please tell me this is it. Yes, this is it. Oh my god, it was such an amazing thread. Yins is my spirit guide. That's exactly it. He is my spirit share guide. Share me, share me, share me, share me, share me, share me, share me. Hold on, hold on. Just give me a moment. Okay. So, Yens came out and tweeted that... Me, I can actually go to the original tweet, too. Scroll up. So, this is what Yens tweeted out. Oh, God, I was on the fourth page? Dear Lord. Probably even... Yep, 13 pages. Dear Lord, that really skyrocketed from today when I read it. All right, so Yens tweeted this out. Seeing some anxiety over Halls of Power difficulty feedback. To be clear... There is zero discussion in the studio about nerfing difficulty. Zero. Now, this is because people have been making the threads mm -hmm. saying that the health is too high, the difficulty is too much. It's basically the health is too high. That's basically what comes down to it, where people feel that the devs, all they did was create these bosses who have too high of health and didn't really put much into the mechanics. I was on test server. I was basically a 103 gear. I was I was the same gear I was I, that I'm geared on live. I went to one of the raids. The mechanics is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Now here's another thing as well you have to keep in mind on MMOs. When new content comes in, the bosses they're not going to have the same health as everybody else. The health will have to be raised. You try walking into a... I walked into a raid in World of Warcraft, and that sucker was at like 25 million. Those zeros, I didn't know existed in a video game. I, <laughs> I was just mind blown. But then I saw the damage we were doing. It's like, oh, okay. This is how it's going to have to be. A 10-minute boss fight? I feel that the, I feel that most people feel like they need to be rushing through content. They don't. They just need to take their time 
and understands how long the boss fights go. I remember, oh, hold on. At this point, I really wish I had like a hay, uh, uh, like a straw hat and a nice little piece of wheat in my mouth. Cause I'm about to do some, back in my day on MMOs, I remember when <laughs> I went into a 40-man raid and we got done in two hours. A two-hour, 40-man raid. I had to play with 39 other people, and only two of them were girls. Think how they felt. No, I'm just joking. All right, I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 40- I don't want to say this word. Man, I, the thing is, you know, you give me always, you know. I know this. Say, I can make everything bad, you know. <laughs> inside, outside, I want to say, knows me, I'm a guy that likes to talk dirty at all, you know. But then I wasn't you really going that dirty, think, and I'm feeling like someone is taping my mouth. Shut up, you know. <laughs> so I went to a forty man. Now they've also decreased it down to like twenty five. A twenty five man raid, hour, hour and a half. You're going to spend time in these raids. It's not the yeah. point of now. I will say congratulations. Well, it's, not just, it's not just the raids. It's not just the raids. It's the alerts too. Yeah, it's the alerts too. As we actually had to deal with somebody um, in my league uh, on the day of release, right? Day of the release. You know, they're going through the uh, security breach uh, alert, right? And the group wiped once because you know everybody's got to get you figure out the mechanics. You know, sometimes some people figure out real fast. Some people takes a couple of wipes. Right, they they wiped once. All right, they've been in there for about an hour because mm-hmm. that alert can be lengthy, you know. So especially your very first time running through it. So they wiped once, and the guy's like, "Man, screw this. We're never going to get this done." And he, and he like left, and we were like, "Dude, don't just bail." I mean, it's your first. It's everybody's first time in there. Get your ass back in there and uh, finish it. You know, and you know, he went back in there and he finished it. But I mean, it's you know the alerts too, and, and I don't know if it's. Uh, I mean, once everybody gets their 104 gear, I'm sorry, their 94 gear and all that, I'm sure the stuff's gonna go by a lot faster. Yep. You know, you know what? It's my opinion. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I mean, we, we've already we've well we've already you know I mean I, I've ran the alerts a few times and all that. I've only done like two of the raids once. Um and uh you know. You know, we're getting through the alerts a lot faster than we were the first time. You know, and it's because we ever, you know, everybody, okay, oh, we need to do this here. Okay, now you know, it's not nobody's figuring out the mechanics anymore. You know, and we've even figured out a little trick to uh, for uh, Mantis there in uh, Security Breach, so, um, so where you know we can you know keep that nullifier thing charged up a little bit quicker and keep it by him, keep him from kicking it away. And all that, you know, just you know, you know, figure out the mechanics of the fight, and you know, the 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 content goes faster just by figuring out the mechanics of it. People aren't willing to do that though; they just want to burn, 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 burn. Why is this taking more than fifteen minutes? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you know, I've already seen people talking about. It. It's like, do we really need to have a tank for the inner? And for the for the inner game alert, yeah, you're taking the tank in there. You know, I'm tanking it. <laughs> oh, you, we don't need a tank. We did it last night with the tank. I don't care. I'm tanking. You know, if he's not tanking, I am. Yep. It's it makes for a nice smoother run. It does. Yeah, it's a little bit longer, but so what? You're not dealing with like twenty wipes. Now I will say congratulations to Brittany. I believe they which content that they do again oh the uh was it the artifacts they did the artifact the ne- raid was, no or was it the necropolis they did the necro yeah they yeah, did the necro, necro in 15, like thir- necro in 15 minutes 13 it was 13 minutes and they got the speed feet for it which i think the speed feet got bumped up to 20 minutes I'm not... oh did it no i'm sorry i got I, I, think, I think it was that it was 15 minutes was for the speed feet 15 yeah. because it was seven it was seven for the speed feet. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, it was. I'll test. That's yeah. Insane. That's insane. <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. The boss fight alone felt like seven minutes. The final boss. That's because we kept wiping because I'm an idiot. But anyways. Trips fail. It, it was big fail. But 
Uh, but for that, I'm trying to actually get back to where I was. So I can't remember now. Crap, I actually lost I have also to say now, um, the thing is, people want to get nerfed everything. Since they nerf once Nexus and Paradox, they want, from that day, I mean, I hear more people's morning nerf stuff, you know, if they wouldn't nerf this, yeah, I don't know, I remember all the time, like you said in other games, but I was playing, I remember first time, after I wanted to done Foss 2, Fortress of Solitude 2, the second, it takes me four hours, I was inside, and it was fun after I done it, it was, you know, the... Because it was hard, the feeling, yes, you done it, you feel more proud. If it's too easy, yeah, okay, you done it. First, nice, but you will not have the feeling, you know, it is more fun if something is hard in every game, in every game. And my opinion also is, you know, if someone don't done it, if they say it's because too hard, maybe all of the, all eight guys are good players, but maybe it is something wrong with the teamwork, in my opinion, or something I don't know, man. Look, imagine we um, did survival mode. I, I was in my group. I just finished round seven, and that was, yeah, I think actually good. So of course we will beat locked on, and we beat all the raids already. And I mean, look, select few also all good. But as a team, they beat round ten, and I say it again. In my opinion, on all servers, in my eyes, they are one of the the best league. I'm saying it, the best league because. That is teamwork, and if they beat, say, look, Brittany, you know, she, she done the speed feed because the guys, they now teamwork, they play along together. And, yeah, it takes time also to have a good team and everything. It will not beat this rate easy with pucks. I mean, I was today in there, and I start hearing people, oh, this is too hard, I'm done, no, I don't want to run this, you can't beat this. Then I got stressed, I'm out. Don't cry here next to me about the rate. It's what it is actually easy because, um, yeah, it is my opinion. It is easy. It is not easy, but it is perfect. The difficult is perfect. And sorry, I know I'm talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. You're good. Uh, and, and now, with the content, with the bosses and everything, having these high healths. I mean, yeah, the boss fights aren't supposed to be like a two, three minute ordeal. We're walking in here with gear that is allows us to walk in to these to this content. It doesn't really mean that we're gonna go and just stomp a new mud hole into it. That's just not how it's gonna work. Like Seer Page just said, when we get the new gear from the tier set, when we get the new gear from the raids, oh, then it's gonna be just going by like a breeze. Like everyone treats the mascara divided. It's going to be the same yeah. thing. We're just going to no, blow it's, right it's, through it. It's, it's going to be like Nexus, you know, and A and B. You know, it's like everybody's like, all right, let's get through this real quick so we can get on to the next one. Yeah. You know, when it comes I mean, to the, that's when, what it's going to be. When it comes to the old content, with, sure, go for it. New content? Yeah. No. Don't be stupid. No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you guys, sure, did, you, did, did people seriously want to walk into, you know, Necropolis and, you know, treat it, you know, like and think they were going to burn through it like they did Nexus? Like they can Nexus right now? No. I mean, it, yeah, it's, uh, are, are, are these raids Nexus and Wave initial launch difficulty? No. <laughs> no. No. People were beating them the first night, all right? It's not nearly as bad as Nexus and Wave was when they first dropped. No, but it's still so, very fun. But yeah. the bosses are going to have eye health. When you introduce... Excuse me, like I said, when you introduce new content, the boss's health has to get higher. It's not going to stay the same. That that would just be stupid because then we're just gonna be blowing through that like we blow through the bosses now. I mean the the con the mechanics will are going to be initially hard. They're going to be initially you have to understand it. Once you understand it, it's going to be a breeze. It will be just walking in there, close your eyes, do what you need to do, and you open up. Oh, magic! It's done. It has to take time. It's going once you get once you come down to a repetition, it's not going to matter about difficulty anymore. Then you're going to start wanting the new content, and yeah, it's going to work out. It's going to work out great. But yeah, I mean the new content difficulty is amazing. It's a lot of fun, and I, I, I mean I've I'm not that I'm not that raider. I don't have the time to sit down and raid. But I mean I've 
ran this stuff a couple of times, and I've really enjoyed it. I ran on test trying to get it done, and we've had a lot of fun trying to nitpick it and get it to work. And please, if you guys find any bugs, please post them onto the forums. Not Gotham City, post them in the Arkham Asylum bug report section. <laughs> post them in Gotham City because it drives trucks crazy. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. So, just post them there. It'll be okay. But uh, the content's really good, really fun, and uh, I know I saw a little, a little Marley trying to speak to me earlier, but yes, the content is a lot of fun. Now, I've also had this question brought to me as well, because a person asked me on my YouTube channel if he needed to get, if he could skip Amazon Fury and go get uh, Halls of Power Part 1. I said, yeah, but this is a huge but. This is where the butt comes in. Your progression is going to be slow. The butt? Dirty, man. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I am watching you over there, Eastern. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. <laughs> DL <laughs> DLC 11 is two alerts, two four-man content, and three eight-man content. Basically, if you do not get Amazon Fury, the only way you're going to get your marks are going to be running it with multiple people doing large group content. If you're that kind of player, more power to you. If you're not, well, then you need Amazon Fury. Because Amazon Fury is your small group DLC and it has your solo, it has your solos for the iconic uh, visions, it has your duos, it has a alert, and it has the solo missions you can do in the outside world. These two now complement this is the this is how they want the devs want this to be done small group content introduces the new tier and the large group content continues it so these two dlcs complete each other like a good faithful marriage if you are a politician I meaning that it's really really rocky because all of a sudden now we have symbols of power and it just caused a whole bunch of cluster stuff. But, but with the symbols of power, it's a lot better option than what they initially. That is correct. Around. We went over we went over that last week. Yes, right. The prestige. So, oh my god! Did you even watch the movie yet? No, I have not watched. I, I refuse to watch that movie now because of you. Congratulations. <laughs> you are missing you some Michael Caine you, greatness. You, you, you just you just cost Michael Caine some money. <laughs> if he that would come to me that. and and yell at me because I cost him that money, I will gladly take that yelling. <laughs> I will just be all smiles. I'm like, Alfred, you're talking to me. <laughs> Say yeah, baby. Erica <laughs> uh. Dave is asking here, uh, where is Trigon since the prison? Isn't there more to that story? Actually, the Trigon Sons of Trigon DLC kind of wrapped up the storyline with the leveling content that you went through on the hero and especially on the villain side. It kind of wrapped up that content, that storyline right there. However, you know, if you pay attention to Cersei at the end of that uh, alert, all right, it actually opens up and leads into Amazon Fury. You pay attention to her dialogue there, and especially the dialogue in the Cersei iconic vision challenge. Yep. yep. The legacy stone and all that. It's all connected. It's all connected. <laughs> like the it's like the Illuminati's writing for DCUO. <laughs> but but Trigon is that, going to be that, the next that survival mode. That or M Night Shamalama Ding Dong. I call him at least because I can't pronounce his name right sometimes. Uh, Shamalon? M. Night Shamalon. Yeah, I know. I know it's not that hard. Let me have, let me have some freaking fun for once, okay? Please? Okay. Can I? Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so. <laughs> oh, Victory Stone, Warren sorry. Aiden Warren, Warren came up with a good idea. Trigon for round 10 boss next uh, survival mode. I'm trying to figure out. It is Trigon themed. It is Trigon themed. Yeah. 
Yeah, Victory Stone. Sorry, Victory Stone. My bad. Look, I don't listen to mythological Dave. goddesses. Look at Dave coming in with the exact quote. He <laughs> charged a Victory Stone enough to start a war, and then she flies off. It's in his yearbook when photo. The on. It's on his yearbook <laughs> photo. <laughs> that's, 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 I can see her right See <laughs> The senior yearbook for Cersei right there. That's <laughs> <she's> got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that's it for uh, us for this uh for this episode 122 with the fun stuff of the road to SOE Live. <laughs> uh you you can find the Sourcecast over on Facebook and the Twitter. Just type in DCO Sourcecast or DCO Source Podcast. Either way you'll find us. And you can find all the episodes over at Twitch, or I'm sorry, over at trekslight.com. All the episodes are on my website, and uh, some of the episodes, really, some. Uh, I think it's like <laughs> from, I think our first episode we really recorded was at SW Live last year, and those are all on my YouTube channel over at youtube.com backslash trekslight. So, uh, Sue Patriot, where can we find you? You can, of course, find me at youtube.com slash the dice house. I am also on facebook.com slash the daddy's house there and i am also on the twitter at the daddy's house you can also find me occasionally streaming uh mostly uh, most of the time in poor quality once i figure that out i will let you all know and i will stream a lot more um on twitch.tv slash the daddy's house uh Balkan, who i do not believe is there right now where'd he go i think, he's, I think he stepped away he messaged us on skype yeah he definitely said two words didn't he no, no, I said I said two words for him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, uh, well, or something. All right, let me, uh, I'll put it this way: everybody out there listening right now. All right, Balkan had to go take care of something that two th- two things could have you know been okay for him. I mean, he could have solved his problem: a bucket, or a nice, tasty, empty but empty Gatorade bottle. That's not nice. Why you, you hold bottle? it up? Why you gotta bring that? Where you hold it up? This is where you hold the bottle up, Trek. No, that's not how we get sponsors. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> We're saying goodbye, Balkan. Where can we find you at? I write in chat one minute. Come know, on, man. I know. No, no, listen. I know. I understand that. But we're saying goodbye now. And we're doing... We finish our... now. We're, we're yes, not finished and we're, yet. <laughs> and we're, but we're, no. do, we're doing... No, we're doing our shameless plug time right now. All right, and this is where you get to tell us where we can find you and your content. Oh, okay. I want more <laughs> sauce cast. Okay, um. What, so so what to get your, more. What is your YouTube channel? You can find my YouTube if you just type Balkan Let's Play. And my Facebook is also Balkan Let's Play, and Twitter is also at Balkan Let's Play. Yeah, everything Balkan Let's Play. That include your Twitch and Twitch too. Balkan, let's play. See <laughs> here, here. hello. You see here. <laughs> this, is, this is me. You see, this is me. Press on it. Follow me if you want. I'll do that. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, question though, Balkan. I did happen to, to go over to your stream uh, the other day. You weren't streaming live. At a time, but I saw a I saw a like a short video um, of a stream of yours that you saved on there of you accidentally leaving your league. Did you get back in? Yes, yes, I'm back. The the, the same day. The thing is, you know, <laughs> I don't know what I wanted to do. I don't know what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something, but then too quick. Oh shit! No, I left my league. I was like, oh, I was angry, man. I was like, no, and no one was online. It was in the morning, maybe seven, eight o'clock a.m. I was playing DC, and no one was online. I had to wait maybe couple hours until someone was there. Invite me, please, because other people was maybe online, but had no rights to invite. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, shit happens. But yeah, now I, th- I now you can't leave the league anymore. You just with the league management, right? Well, so yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so perfect. Now this will not happen anymore. I'm happy about this. This is not the first time it happened. It happened three, four times, maybe. Dang, dude. Yeah, I'm quick, st- you know. I'm quick. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> but not, but not in this thing, you know. Yeah. I'm quick. <laughs> 
And you can find me over at youtube.com backslash trekslight and on Facebook uh, backslash trekslight and especially on the Twitter at this is Trex. And you can find the Sourcecast live every Friday night after FNL over at twitch.tv backslash trekslight. And I'm trying to remember. Uh, and I'm also on the Instagram at. Holy crap! I actually can now remember my Instagram. Okay. I, I'm saying I'm saying Instagram now because I'm I'm. I, I have a friend who is she's going to Orlando the same day I'm leaving for Vegas. So we're like. We're on vacation at the same time, but going two different spots. So we're gonna do like this back and forth, like daily. Here's my pictures of my day. How about yours? And then we're just gonna trade them back and forth because we're girls like that, apparently. And uh, mine is I do not even know what the heck my name. Uh, Trexlight, just Instagram uh, backslash. I'm um, at Trexlight. That's that's my Instagram, apparently. Uh, and I was trying to find this quote from Spittle from the thread, but apparently he deleted it. Luckily, I have a pretty good memory, and I'm not going to go verbatim, but this was the thread from Speedle's latest tweet about people talking about the health crap and everything, and somebody came in there and said the thread, it's like, look, it's not difficult. All you did was raise the health too high. There's no difficulty about it. If I can start a boss fight, and I'm he's a healer, by the way, this guy's a healer. As a healer, if he can start a boss fight, go make himself a sandwich, and with lettuce, because he likes the crunch, that is verbatim, by the way, because he <laughs> likes the crunch, and he can come back, and everybody's fine, it's not difficult. That was that thread. Spittle comes in. Did you enjoy the sandwich? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> right? <laughs> it's deleted from the thing because I can't find it now, but that was epic. Oh, yes. <laughs> Did you enjoy yeah. the sandwich? Was the sandwich tasty? I like sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but right, well, we... that means, uh, well, every guest we have on the show has to make those sandwiches, so go ahead and get to them there. Yeah, now let's do this. I take some peanut butter. No I crust. I have even something bad in my mind about sandwich. I can make everything bad, you know? Why no, do we have him on? Huh? I'm wondering the same thing, Trex. I, I mean, You invite him. <laughs> no, no. You pawned him off onto me, and I just said LOL. <laughs> Wait. That's how he got to the show? It wasn't really someone said yes? <laughs> He asked I don't me. think anybody actually said yes. <laughs> I think you just ended up dragging them in. <laughs> Come on, don't say you don't enjoy me. Come on, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I am never going to say I enjoy you. I'm never saying that. Ah, uh, yeah, you can say something bad again, of course. Uh, let's say... Um, it was nice having you on you the show again. I enjoyed that I was in the source cast. I am never saying the words I enjoy with you in that sentence. It was okay, nice you, having you on the show again. So you don't want to say anymore in the show. Is this, is this, about the last time in Sauscast? No, it's not the last time. Calm down. Yes, yes, I was thinking maybe last time. Okay, you just want to be sure. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so if it will be the last time I will say now something bad, but I'm still there, okay, i be still quiet. Good for you. Nah, joking. All right, we hope to see you guys at SV Live next year. If we do see you, please stop by. Stop myself at Super Patriot in the hallways, not in the bathroom because that's creepy. And just uh, check, just chat with us. We are very open-minded, and we, we would love to talk to you guys. I already know Dave is never leaving my side, apparently. He's just hooked right there. I can see it. <laughs> but it's going to be so much fun seeing you guys next week at SW Live, and we cannot wait. And uh, stay tuned to my Facebook and the Twitter so I can give you guys more of an update on the live stream stuff and uh, how all that's going to go down. Um, like I said, if I am able to, it will be done. If I can't, then uh, I will try and get the videos out as fast as possible when I get back from the convention. So, with all that said and done, thank you all so much for watching. We will see you guys maybe at SOE Live for the Source Cast. Sunday. 
Sunday, 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 four o'clock Pacific Sunday, time. Sunday. If I can live stream it, I will tweet it. But yeah, four o'clock Pacific time. Booyah! <laughs> so yay! Drunk, drunken source cast Sunday night. Doing it live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you will, Decon, leave my Fluttershy alone. See you all. See you all later. <laughs>